الحمد لله الحمد لله الخلاق العليم ومتلي العباد مالك يوم الحساب نحمده ونستغفره ونتوب إليه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له رب كريم وإله عظيم وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد أيها المسلمون فأوصي ونفسي فأوصي وإياكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل فإن الدنيا غرتنا وإن الموت يطلبنا فيا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون My brothers and sisters, there's a world of the unseen that we cannot see, but we know it exists. A Muslim cannot be a Muslim until he believes in this world of the unseen. Belief in the unseen, my brothers and sisters, instills in the believer that he knows that he is on the side of khayr and not on the side of sharr. And there is not an action that you could do to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except that it is connected to your belief in the unseen. So let's look and examine, my brothers and sisters, how Ramadan is connected to our belief in the unseen. Belief in the angels. Nobody has seen one, but we have been commanded to believe in them. And you cannot be a believer or a mu'min. You will not enter into Jannah until you have believed in the presence of angels. This is a group of creation that are pious servants to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They follow his command. They constantly worship him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are made out of light. They support the believers. They are your friends. They accompany when you do good. And whilst you are fasting, my brothers and sisters, your relationship with the angels increases, even though you may not even realize it. Listen to this hadith of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You have not even begun fasting yet. But he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, إن الله شوري الله وملائكته يسلون على المتسحرين. Surely Allah praises the people who are making suhoor. Surely the angels are making du'a for their believers whilst they are making their suhoor. You have not even begun your fasting day yet. But why is this important? Because between the believer and the belief in the unseen, there is a connection between your aqidah and Ramadan, there is a connection and it gets stronger when you are in the month of Ramadan. And then my brothers and sisters, you begin your fasting and after suhoor, the day begins and you go about on your way and people are eating and drinking in your face and this might affect you. Listen to this hadith now in a tirmidhi which has been classed as Hassan, that Umm Amara al-Ansariya radiallahu anha the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to visit me one day, she's saying. And he brought with him some food, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This shows us the akhlaq of the Messenger of Allah. A woman that perhaps we have never even heard of, Umm Amara. It's not a common name. But the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had some food. And he thought about this woman that we perhaps don't even know of. And he wanted to share this food with her. He wanted her to become happy. So he went to visit her. And he said, Umm Ara, Umm Amar, I've got some food. So she said, Ya Rasulullah, inni sa'ima. Yes, Messenger of Allah, but I am fasting. Imagine, my brothers and sisters, the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, comes to your home and he offers you food. And you say to him, Ya Rasulullah, I can't accept your food because I am fasting. But he was a mercy to mankind, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he wasn't offended with the food in his hand. And about to turn away, he left her with a benefit, even though he couldn't benefit her with food. He said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Inna Sa'im, surely the fasting person, to Salli Alayhim Malaika, either Ukila Inda. Surely, the person who is fasting, in his presence or in her presence, if people are eating and drinking, the Malaika come down and they make dua for that person. As long as these people are eating in front of you, these malaika 
these angels come down and they descend and they continuously make dua for you. So now, you have begun your suhoor and the angels are making dua for you. You are going about your day and the angels are making dua for you. Why is this important? This is important, my brothers and sisters, because between the believer and the belief in the unseen, there is a connection. Between your aqeelah and Ramadan, there is a connection and it gets stronger. We have seen the beginning of the day. We have seen during the day. What about at the end of the day? When the sun sets, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Aftara indukum as-sa'imun The fasting people have broken their fast. Wa akalata amukum al-abrar And the pious are eating their food. What do you think the malaika are doing whilst you are having your iftar? Wa sallat alaykum al-malaika The angel are making dua for you whilst you are eating your food and you are not even fasting anymore. Allahu Akbar, my brothers and sisters. In the morning, the angels are making dua for you. During the day, as you go about your routine, you are at work, you are walking down the street, you could be anywhere. The angels descend and they make dua for you. When you eat your iftar at night time, the angels make dua for you. This is because, my brothers and sisters, the angels are your friends. They are your allies. They support those people who are upon good. And they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase them upon that good. My brothers and sisters, Ramadan is connected to our aqeelah and that angels are with you whilst you are fasting. And this is because believers complete other believers. Angels, believers above our heads, complete believers walking on earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that the closest malaika to him, the ones that are carrying the arsh, they make dua for the believers. الَّذِينَ يَحْمِنُونَ الْعَرْشَ وَنْهَوْلَ يُسَبِّهُونَ بِهَمْدِ رَبِّهِمْ وَيُؤْمِنُونَ بِهِ وَيَسْتَغْفِرُونَ لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أقول قول هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولجميع المسلمين فاستغفروا وتوبوا إليه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasoolah, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa a'wanih, wa sallam tasliman kathira, amma ba'd. My brothers and sisters, soon we will start the last ten nights of Ramadan, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says about every single one of these nights, inna al-malaika, Tilka layla fil ard on the night of Qadr, it could be any one of these nights. The Malaika on that night of Qadr Akhtaru min Adil al Hasa are more plentiful on earth than the pebbles and the stones that you find on earth. The angels outnumber the most smallest and the insignificant stone that you see on your way. But what do they do when they descend? Your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala says Salamun hi hatta matla il fajr. Peace until fajr. Al Kalbi rahimahullah explains this ayah and he says, On the night of Qadr, Al Malaika yanziluna fi. The angels descend. Kullama laku mu'minun aw mu'mina. They look for believers worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because they are friends to one another. They support one another. They make dua for you. He said, Al Kalbi rahimahullah. On Laylatul Qadr, while you are worshipping Allah, while you are reciting Qur'an and standing in Qiyam, the angels descend upon you, and you will have no idea that they are there. Sallamu alayhim in Rabbi hatta yathlaul fajr. They give them salam from their Lord, and they continue doing this until the break of dawn, until fajr. From Maghrib until fajr, constantly, the whole night. They are praying for your salam. They are praying for your protection. They are praying for your steadfastness. They are praying for your guidance. They are praying for you to be accepted. So as you worship through these nights, my brothers and sisters, the angels are next to you, even though you don't see it. Why? Because there is a connection between your aqidah and the unseen and Ramadan, and it increases in Ramadan. But my brothers and sisters, perhaps the greatest dua the greatest du'a of the angels will come Yawm Al-Qiyamah 
the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now pay attention to this, my brothers and sisters, because this emphasizes the point completely, that there is a connection between your belief in the unseen, your belief in the angels, and you fasting right now in Ramadan. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the angels will intercede on behalf of the believers yawm al qiyamah. They will either say, oh Allah, stop these people from going into the hellfire because of their mistakes, overlook them. Or they will say, oh Allah, these people were actually good people, but elevate them. Give them a higher status than they deserve from their actions. The angels will make dua for the believers yawm al qiyamah and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he makes us and our loved ones from them. But he also said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, fasting will come yawm al qiyamah. And fasting will do exactly the same thing that the angels are doing. Fasting will say, Oh Allah, I stopped him from eating. I stopped him from drinking. And I am his witness. Elevate him in Jannah. Or excuse him from the hellfire. My brothers and sisters, all of this teaches us that in as siyam and the anqeedah of the Muslim, there is a very strong connection. And when you fast, things are happening around you. Things are happening above you. You are benefiting in a way that you cannot understand. And the reason why is because all of this is from the unseen and you will never be able to explain it. But it is upon you to submit and to believe in your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah sallu wa sallimu ala afdun wa man sallu wa sam. Allahumma salli alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi al barr al karam. Allahumma taqabbal tawbatana. Allahumma taqabbal tawbatana. Allahumma taqabbal tawbatana. فوقس الحوبة تنا وأجب دعوة تنا وثبت حجة تنا وسلو سخيمة من قلوبنا اللهم إن نسلك الجنة اللهم إن نسلك الجنة اللهم إن نسلك الجنة وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل ربنا فينا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانسلنا عن قوم الكافرين ربنا إننا أمنا فاغفرنا ذنوبنا وقنا عذاب النار اللهم اشف مرضانا وارحم موتانا اللهم ارحم موتانا واصلح اولادنا واهد قلوبنا يا رب العالمين اللهم اصلح احوال المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم اصلح احوال المسلمين في كل مكان اللهم وحد صفنا واجمع كلمتنا يا رب العالمين اللهم انصرهم في فلسطين اللهم انصرهم في فلسطين على اليهود الغاصبين المعتدين يا رب العالمين اللهم انك عفو تهب العفو فاعفو عنا اللهم إنك عفو تهب العفو فاعفو عنا اللهم إنك عفو تهب العفو فاعفو عنا ربنا عتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة في العذاب النار إباد الله يذكر الله يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تسنعون